Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. This video I'm going to show you how to detect the walls in a maze game. So we've got it right now so that we have our restart function. So it's going to restart at the very beginning. But we want to also make it so that if the player touches the wall with their sprite, then the sprite restarts as well. So to do that, we're going to use a conditional. So we're going to use an if block. And we're going to put this at the bottom of our code that has our player controls. And so this condition is going to be if we touch the wall, then restart. So the restart part is very simple. We just simply grab this new block that we created and we put this inside of here. Now, what we have to do is inside of this block, we're going to use an, uh, a sensing block to check to see if we're touching a specific color. So we put this inside of here and it's got this like orangish brown uh, mustardy looking color. When you click on it, it gives you a bunch of different options. Now to make sure that you get the exact color of your walls, you can actually click on this eyedropper. And then you, wherever you move your uh, mouse, it's going to allow you to select any one of the colors. So I want it to be the exact color of my walls. So I simply click on it and now it saved it. So now when we press the green flag and it starts running this code, when it gets to the end of this, if it touches the color black, then it should restart to the location that Scratch Cat is right now. So let's test it. So we're moving. And as soon as you touch the wall, it restarts back to the very beginning. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. Now, I just wanna let you know that if you have many different colors of walls, um, you're going to actually need to use a bunch of different or blocks and combine these with the touching. So you're gonna have to do an or um, for every single color. So you're gonna say, if you're touching the color black, or the color green, or the color brown, or the color red, then it's going to reset back to the beginning. So that would make it so that you'd have to combine a bunch in here. So it's a whole lot easier if you just use one color for your walls. So um, if you want a challenge though, you can use multiple, it's up to you. So anyways, add these three blocks into your forever loop and use that to make it so that you can detect the walls in your maze game. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.